SGD and let's look at loincloth wearing primitive technology uh, or the ancient Egyptian civilization. These are, we'll go through some pictures first of the tomb of Rekmire or TT100. And it's a very important tomb because uh, and, and, uh, unlike most others which ha might have just a few images of craftsmen at work, tomb of Rekmire has lots lots of images also basically showing them in their workshop environment as well so here's a one here's another one you might spot some stuff here okay oh, it's a copy there's a close-up of it here's another one another one another one and there's uh, one of the um, larger panels now lost ancient high technologists um, you know, so well, these are drawings, and well, you know, it's all it's all fake, and these are cartoons made by Egyptologists. But uh, well, the irony is that they use those images as evidence, and then from the tomb of Rekmire, uh, the actual photos, and then well, <laughs> anyway. So I'll link this in the description. It's experiments in ancient Egyptian archaeology by Dennis A. Stocks. You can see him there pictured. This book is one of the forbidden books because the decades-long experts, tour guides um, in lost ancient high technology such as Bright in Insight, they will always show this clip from the granite cutting and drilling and this is like the only evidence in existence in regards to experiments. They know full well there's a lot more but they keep showing this one because they can frame it in a very very certain, in a particular way to bolster their arguments and their fake industry, fake um, fake facts, fake history, just, yeah. Uh, now, that's Dennis Stocks there. Um, the exp he did a draw uh, core drilling experiment. Again, they won't cover the ones which have been done since then and show those cutting rates. And it has a saw cutting experiment. And if you've seen it, these guys are moving the saw really slowly and they're using desert sand as an abrasive. And of course, they never, they just, oh, he, look, he's only cutting four mil an hour. Modern gang saws, cut at 25 mils an hour, my own experiments, so I've, and even I could improve on it, I was getting 8 mil on granite, 11 mil on basalt, and the thing is, why haven't they, they done any experiments and why don't they show them? Well, because it's, it's anyway, so back to Tomb of Rekmire. Zoom in on this panel, and what we see is the iron workers. Now, loincloth wearing primitives, as uh, Jimmy and um, Uncharted X like to call them, but the interesting thing is they also show the air, uh, the pump, the, the bellows. And so this type of bellows is still being used by primitive, ignorant people, I suppose you'd call them, you know, who can actually do the work. But, uh, you know, rather, you know um, and essentially it's been the same going through time. There's just a you know, more modern but primitive example of it. They were running mines or producing huge amounts of copper, transporting over distances. And so this is one of the primitive loincloth wearing technologies that um, from Tomb of Rekmire. Uh, in Dennis Stocks' book he also shows you know essentially about their their clamp, their vice. Um, this is one of the types that they had that primitive loincloth wearing peoples had to you know like yeah if you want to do some work how do you do it? Well you've got to sort of be able to hold it there so it's you can just hold it by hand in the very primitive loincloth wearing way or a very primitive loincloth wearing way. You can use sticks and rope and do the impossible work. Um, it, basically, if you've got a clamp and a saw and a few of these other tools, it is no different from a modern workshop right up until the industrial era. Now, here's another from Tomb of Rekmire. Focus in on this particular piece and it's basically the carpentry. So you see they're making furniture. That's also them using a bow drill to drill into wood and they're also cutting and again you can see that you know how's it, how's the guy holding it there um saw cutting now again back to the irony jimmy from bright insight uses this picture from the tomb of wreck mirror again it's just it's this 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 one little panels and oh well look and this proved oh using a boat oh, look it proves everything uh, that's the irony so he, he says the egyptians only ever depicted themselves sawing stone with these small saws yes i have to i haven't seen them cut and you know, i haven't seen one of them cutting stone with these stone um so fact but painting a false image and no large saws of this size or shape were ever found or depicted by the ancient egyptians now to that i would reply 
is there any pictures of the ancient Egyptians dropping a crap? So therefore, they didn't do poo. Okay, that, that's, well, if you're gonna work by that logic, so, but, um, there were sores found for cutting stone because the marks on the stone and the damage is from sore. The stones themselves have the uh, sore marks in there. And so, well, the largest one that um, here, uh, you can find the link there. All right, uh, bronze 18th uh, dynasty, 50 centimeters. So, okay, it's not one meter long. It's not a meter and a half long. Uh, but what's the, are they arguing that they couldn't make a longer saw than this? Now I would ask, how many blades for cutting stone where we have photos from the um, late 1800s, early 1900s, pictures going, how many of those survive? Bronze, copper, was it's, it's like gold. You know, it's not as valuable. It's, it's still now people are stealing copper wire. It's still very, very valuable. Um, so again, the argument, well, they didn't find any of those. Okay, well, they found smaller ones. You're saying that they couldn't build bigger ones and that a big, expensive piece of metal would just be lying around. Goes, oh, well, these are lying around. Well, one of the reasons is because amongst the carvings on there um, is includes inscriptions, dedications to the stretching the cord ceremony. So <laughs> they're special saws also in that way. They're... Um, yeah, they've, they've, the stretching, which is so important in the laying out of temples, has to do with Sheset. And this goes back to the very earliest recordings um, in regards to Egypt as well. So it's not just just a later thing. But these, yeah, this is very expensive. Uh, one copper Deben, Deben, was twice the weight of a gold Deben. Now, I can't be exactly sure, but that would indicate that the fixed value of gold to copper was probably one to two. That's a... Um, uh, assumption on my part but there has been I've read a few articles on that along the way in regards to the Egyptian economy that the prices they didn't have inflation there was um, and over centuries it seems to be that the value of grain seems you know had a stable economy didn't have inflation and all those other issues so when they say that no only small wood cutting blades were found this is just not incorrect uh, this is incorrect it's um again these are the people get like uh, i've been researching this for years and uh, they don't know this or they don't want to show this and the fact is they they don't want to show you because when you do correct something um for instance jimmy copyrighted strike uh, a video of mine where i just had quoted him to point out the fact that we'll come to that image later okay this is also tomb of rec Mire, and so that just highlighted it there. Um, br bright insights said they're Egyptian. This is just a cartoon. So he shows this type of image. Said, well, this is just a cartoon made by Egyptologists. Uh, so again, this is from the tomb of Rekmire. He he always shows that saw cutting picture over and over again. And it, just like the, all the lost ancient high technologists, here's a 30 year old um, video of Dennis Stocks cutting and drilling. Therefore. Uh, and they cover up the information scientists against Smith. So I did follow, uh, follow up experiments myself. Dennis Stocks, in his book, improved on his cutting rate from that earlier video, but they don't cover this. They're, they're covering it up now. Uh, they are they're measuring stone, and more importantly, you can even see them using boning rods, which is very to get very flat and to fit surfaces very closely as well. So, um, yeah, okay, it's... Uh, Boning rods, the images are there. Uh, tomb of Rec Mire, staying with that. Just like to see on this. So just above the measuring the stone, what do we have? Well, we have uh, making a Colossus statue and on scaffolds, apparently. Uh, some, yeah, uh, it's like scaffolding. They won't even allow them to have scaffolding, some of these nutters. Uh, you overlay the, the cartoon in illustration by the Egypt, uh, you know, the skeptic experimentalists and their, and their comic book <laughs> illustrations it fits perfectly you know, that's what it is one of the reasons why that they use these types of images and drawings was because once these tombs were open and exposed the plaster started uh, and the and the, even now tourism and the oxygen and the people breathing out are damaging and really quickly direct um degrading these very important images so this is not a cartoon did you again hashtag believe plato so plato heard a story 
generations back from Solon, from the Egyptians, apparently, about Atlantis. Now we must accept that at word value. Now, we don't have, do we have written account directly by Solon? Where, where is that? Show me that. I, I want to see an original Solon text. I don't want to see, no, no, because otherwise it's just a cartoon invented by Atlantean enthusiasts. Do we have an original of Plato's text? Well, like, there's no Plato's text original. That's just, uh, you know, that's just been made up. That's a invention of later times. So, you know, live by the sword, die by the sword in this case. So hashtag believe Plato about what his uncle's grandfather's next door neighbor's best friend told him happened 10,000 years ago. Yes, believe the actual Egyptian imagery, which comes from much later. What? No, no, I, I need signed, documented, videotaped evidence of that as well. This is how lost ancient Thai technology works. Either they're utterly ignorant, they're not utterly ignorant because they cover it up. Uncharted X, Bright Insight, Brian Foster, they complain about cover-ups and being suppressed. They're the ones who do it. They don't show you this type of thing. And uh, even when they are shown, they still stick to it because it's, it's a business, it's an industry, it's a scam. All right, now, right next to that, what do we have? They're making a sphinx. So, uh, well, there's a neat trick to this. So if there's a really nice sphinx, well, that's just, that's older. That's older, that was inherited. Well, this one, uh, oh, but that one is, that one's late. It's not anything that's not highest quality comes from a later period. Anything that's older must be, the, uh, anything that's good quality comes from the earlier times and this just gets repeat. I just get it as a, in comments all the time well how do you explain the, the, the decrease in in quality um, amongst the Egyptians and this is just stated as a fact and it comes from lost ancient high technologist Uncharted X Brian Foster uh, Bright Insight and it's just not true it's it's just an invention so that's you know Sarah Pee oh that's pre-dynastic well no, it isn't. We've got, we've got the receipts, but they cover it up. So same suits. So we've got them working stone, and also on the end here, uh, we've also got the standing statue, quite a large one, and the image on the left, I forget exactly where that comes from, but that's just, again, another image the Egyptians left us, these loincloth-wearing primitives um, left us of this, and it's unfortunately left out by ancient lost high technologists. I could include a lot of other imagery, um, rope making, dead large ships, and the, such as the Khufu ship, which, you know, um, you know, they were not unskilled tradesmen, loincloth wearing primitives. The, the only primitive minded people are the uh, lost ancient high technologists, you know, um, yeah, yeah fucking um, leftist images of moving colossal statues as well. But when this, oh, this is just made up or oh, well, it's something stuff no no i want videotaped evidence hashtag believe plato literally but not again these guys it's uh it's completely illogical it's not on it they're not honest people let you know because they cover stuff up so even when they i demand an experiment you provide the expert you know you, you do what they ask because it's impossible and then you do what they ask well no no now you you know no nah, no nah, cover that up, blocked, deleted, gone, or, well, now, now you must make a giant box, you know, um, yeah, all right. Uh, so in regards to vase making as well, this is an image on on the bottom where we can see the original, that's a piece which is uh, now at the um, Imhotep Museum down in uh, Saqqara, and we see the image above, and again, when that, well, this is just a cartoon by Egypt, like, they're just inventing stuff. Well, we... And the irony is that this image here on the bottom is part of the larger vase making. So I've all panned, look at the, oh, these precision, impossible, look at these in prison, how did they, no, no, no. But then again, a few feet away, there's the literal image of the Egyptians making these things. And these guys cut it out, they edit it out. That's just the way that lost ancient high technology works. Scream about censorship and suppression while they're the most censorious bunch of uh, liars going around fake experiments as well uh, in case of Christopher Dunn and just like, like the statue symmetry and vase symmetry you just look at the images and the, oh well there's yeah um, it's all it's all bunk here's another image from now back to tomb of Rek Mire up the top there you can see uh, it's another again using the bow drill so uh, not just the bow drill they're using the flywheel drill um, 
Scientists Against Smith and myself did those experiments to show we have excellent cutting rates and ex, you know the, stri the impossible to do striations are inevitable. That yeah, well again, experiments have proven it. There's no drama about this, but oh, this is no, no, no. I want to again. I want to see notarized filmed version. You know, but uh, where's the where's one single piece of evidence of of lost high technology? Where do you know? Uh, like you know, uh, just a bronze, copper, even any, just a, a mine site, some slag, anything in regards to you know hashtag believe Plato, everything's from twelve thousand years ago, lost civilization, the Egyptians just stole everything. So again, they accuse the the establishment of corruption and cover ups. They accuse the Egyptians of stealing their culture from earlier people. You know, like. Um, uh, and so, but again, oh, no, you're being uncivil, like, you're uncivil, I will not interact with you because you're being uncivil. Well, these, these guys are just knuckle, you know, like, it's, um, yeah, cowards, cowards and frauds, cowards and frauds. Uh, so again, we see them depicted, there's, you know, there's the vases, there's the flywheel drill being used. Uh, again, oh, and, and they did know vases afterwards, they're only the oldest ones. Well, again, that's just not true as well. So, oh, this is just a cartoon. Oh, the, the Egyptologist, where's the cartoon? And, oh, where's the original picture? And then they use Rick Mire's tomb as, as like, oh, they only cut with stone. I mean, only cut these saws with wood. Look at the picture. Well, it's friggin' Rick Mire's tomb, you fucking knucklehead. Um, yeah, it's all there. Uh, there's more vase making, you know, stone pounders, inscription, uh, using the, oh, like, that type of frame began to do finishing work as well. Workshop environment, you know, one guy does this, he's good at that. The other guy does the, the, the carver's good at that and the, the polishers are good at their thing. So this is why this tomb is so important. Again, I'm not going, like, you see the whole gamut of industry. Um, there's also pictures of them drilling beads, uh, four at a time. So they hold four little bow drills, fine drills, and they're drilling really fine holes in the Egyptian beads but it, the, yeah, Uncharted X will show this um, piece of lapis lazuli look like how this is befuddling how did they drill this little hole there are friggin pictures of them doing the bead holes in the jewelry which is the equivalent as well so again this is just all um, yeah this they, they won't show you this stuff um, when it's pointed out to them politely they cover it up and then when you call them out for being bullshit artists, then it's, oh, well, you're not being civil and I'm not going to... Well, okay, you don't have to even engage in the civil uncivilness of people, such as myself, but your refusal to, to engage and show your audience the, the evidence and the information proves that you're worthy of contempt and derision and mockery. And so, you know, okay, hashtag believe Plato, what happened 10,000 years before, because my uncle, brother's cousin's neighbor's second best friend told him this, we don't have, where's the original copy? Where's, where's, any, where's any evidence? But this physical evidence, including the tools, we have uh, unfinished cores with corundum and worn copper inside. Uh, we have stone saws, okay, we don't have a giant one. So, well, that's only 50 centimeters. I need a cut that's, you know, two meters. Well. Could they not make it a longer? Really? And uh, but so therefore, well, because we haven't found one that's exactly that length. Therefore, uh, advanced precision uh, power tools is a viable viable option. This is the nonsense of lost ancient high technology. This is the sham, the fraud in regards to that. Uh, and this is why. So you know, I, I consider myself. You know, I'm in the alternative. So I love new ideas. I love wacky, crazy ideas. But when when they're done in bad faith, it makes it uh, really hard for outsiders. You know, or outside ideas, and even that's a silly notion. But they do so much damage to the cause. They they apparently uh, promote or believe in or think that is important because. It's yeah, so this is just Rick Mire's tomb and a couple other like related images as well. Exactly the kind of stuff they won't show. Uh, if they do, they'll say, "Oh, this is just a cartoon and something, something." No, we got just so I, I want the receipts. Um, well, it doesn't work yet, yeah, but then they can just make an outlandish, like completely unevidenced claim. Hashtag believe Plato, 
uh, and and that's okay. And they can they can throw muck at everyone else and and um, so and call Egyptians loincloth wearing primitives. Um, you know, that's again. This is just how it operates. That with these basic tools now. So what we have is tool making tools. If you can do that, you can do essentially do anything. And if there isn't a picture of Egyptians sawing um, stone, well, we have stone saws. Well, it's they're too short. Well, they again, where's they couldn't make them longer. And in some cases, it's not even necessary because the uh, yeah uh, one of the, the sarcophagi you can actually see there's two there's a saw on one side and a saw on the other. To cut the sarcophagus lids on top, you don't need a saw that's the width of the sarcophagus. You need a saw that's a little bit over half the width because you can do it from both sides, and that's the evidence the the, um, the damaged un, you know sarcophagus with a partial saw cut that's in there as well. And oh, that oh, but they went off. They went off. Uh, it, you know, you you know it has to be a machine because it went slightly off kilter. Geez, well maybe try saw and. And then you'll notice that the mud and uh, it obscures your view, the, the slurry. And well, I'll cover that more and show in an experiment as well. But it's just silly, um, and not silly. It is a deliberate false narrative, accusing others of exactly what they do themselves, calling themselves, you know, I've been researching this. Come join my tour, uh, and then <laughs> using. Uh, again, using Rek Mire's tomb as <laughs> evidence uh, of their of their claim. So I mean, like he's found one image that suits him. He's gone onto ancientorigins.com or something like that. Oh, look, there's an article by Brian Foster. Yes, this this we must accept. Um, the the lack the lack of diligence or of care at the very best, or the the outright lies by these people, is um, simply staggering it uh, really really is and uh, the dimin the way that they diminish our ancient ancestors because this would also apply to our i, I could apply exactly the same like well where's a saw from the 1700s and which are like, is just fakery they must have had advanced lost high technology and the historians of uh, middle ages historians are all full of it and blah 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 um yeah, so if you again live by a sword, die by the sword. If you set up a, a a standard, then you must live by that standard. Hashtag believe Plato. All right, Rek Mire's tomb. Some of the stuff they won't show you. Uh, I'll do, do more. Um, got some stuff coming up in regards to this, but just because I've had this file sitting on the desktop and just thought I should just quickly make something um of it just again to show just how in one particular temple and okay well rec mire's tomb from about uh, 1500 bc this is primitive technology going back to the beginnings of copper work so this goes back uh, at least uh 8, years because you know, to work copper you need to have to apply heat and to purify it uh and all of that is that maybe look well, that's a giant look i found the giant saw blades there they are there okay that's all you know well, i don't know if they are or not i'm not sure i think they're actually um sarcophagi boxes or whatever there but yeah if i was to use the same standard uh you know um yeah well you can get away with anything if you, if you use their standards and double standards you can get away with anything uh smurfs built everything uh atlanteans stole the smurf inheritance uh, smurf bones are, are like shark bones they're cart cartilage and they uh, type of thing and they and they dissolved away and they got washed away in the last cataclysm before the last ice age prove me wrong it's all smurfs and everything was just stolen from the smurf civilization and uh, the, the ancient lost high technologists are covering up the smurf legacy and they and they're hiding behind the plato narrative to hide our you know the, the smurfs you know, taught us everything. We, there was one global Smurf civilization, and uh, yeah, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. It was all Smurfs. SGD, have a good one.